Hi everyone, my name is Xiao Qian Wang. Uh, I'm delighted to be here and have the opportunity to share my story and listen to the inspiring stories of so many amazing women. Uh, I'm now a top postdoc in the Department of Econometrics and Business Statistics at Monash University. I have done something related to time series forecasting, uh, distributed computing, and uh, statistical modeling. Uh, and more specifically, I'm now working on the optimization problem in hierarchical forecasting uh, to deal with di high dimensional hierarchy. Uh, also, I majored in statistics for my undergraduate, master's, and the PhD. Actually, I think I was really exposed to and attracted to data science until I was a first year master's student. Uh, at that time, I joined a big data anal uh, analytics uh, class initiated by five top universities in China. It was there that I got my first glimpse of real data, um, real big data. Uh, in that year, I was uh, inundated with a large variety of data analysis tools, including R, Python, MySQL, Git, and a host of his distributed computing tools. I struggled to learn these tools painfully, but uh, happily. The most exciting part was I was deeply uh, attracted to the R language and started to try to start my uh, data science journey. The first, uh, the left picture is my master's graduation uh, photo with my big data classmates. Uh, in the right picture, the girl is my best friend and she is now a final year PhD student at uh, Monash. Uh, she emotionally supported me to continue my research path and uh, become a postdoc. However, the interesting thing is she didn't choose to become a postdoc, but happily she is still a data scientist in a statistical researcher uh, research center. Uh, for my PhD, I was lucky to meet my PhD supervisor Yan Fei. Uh, she is an amazing woman. She became a PhD supervisor at the age of 27, and I was honored to be her first PhD student. Uh, thanks to her, I started working on time series forecasting. During the four and a half years as a PhD student, working until midnight was very common, but happily it was because of working until midnight so I could often see the beautiful full moon. Many times I also got frustrated when my research got stuck. Uh, got stuck. Uh, the experience that stuck me uh, the most was when I was writing a review paper on forecast combinations. It was a very large project, and the framework I had uh, constructed was con constantly being changed as I read more and more papers. Uh, it was a major challenge to select representative papers from the vast literature, and of course, it was even more difficult to categorize and summarize them. But time and effort will kill. Uh, after more and more than a half. Uh, more than a year of weekly meetings with my PhD supervisor Yan Fei and uh, my collaborators, this seemingly unfinishable review paper was finally completed. And looking back, all that remains are uh, good memories. So the sense of joy at having made some progress is very exciting. Actually, I'm, I'm not a confident girl, but it was because Yan Fei, uh, she kept uh, encouraging me and introducing me to many inter, uh, international researchers. So I gradually recognized myself and uh, persisted in my data science journey. Uh, so encouragement is really important and sometimes it can give a surprising and a significant impact on others. Uh, during my PhD, I was also a member of KR Lab. We often discussed uh, academic problems, uh, hiked together, and uh, had uh, dinner together. Uh, because of the epidemic, unfortunately, I don't have a graduation photo with my supervisor, so I can only show you a normal photo with her and the full moon at midnight and the photo of our KR Lab hiking. Uh, also, thanks to Yan Fei that uh, I had uh, the pleasure of meeting Rob J. Hyman. Uh, Rob is my current supervisor during my postdoc. 
pays very nice and works very hard and efficiently. Uh, almost every day, you can see his GitHub commits up to 10 plus. It touches me a lot. I enjoyed the regular weekly meetings with him and we can discuss academic project, uh, projects and problems together. Uh, in these two months since I came to Monash, I have met a lot of great data scientists. They are energetic, efficient, and uh, passionate about research and uh, various data analysis. Another great thing is that I joined the Monash Numbats, and uh, in the week before last week, we went to San Remo for our hackathon. It was really good, great to discuss uh, projects and do some codings and uh, cook together for those three days. After I came to Australia, I faced uh, so many challenges. Uh, for example, having my first abroad trip, uh, communicating with others in a language I was not familiar with, uh, and giving teaching. But I do enjoy this and I'm looking forward to having more awesome things here. Uh, in the future, I hope to see more and more people embarking on the data science journey and uh, meeting more and more amazing ladies. Uh, so uh, thanks so much for having me here and thanks so much for being here. Uh, I'm very excited to share my experience with you all and uh, hope you like it. Thank you.